Hey, this is Kevin Ward with MixCoach.com, and today I want to show you the third way that I know of to eliminate a plosive on a microphone or on a, on a vocal take, or a vocal mic or vocal take. Now, the first method was the cut and fade method. The second method, we actually EQ'd it out of the actual waveform. This, what I'm about to show you, is the most practical way to do it. If a plosive happened once on a vocal take, it probably happened every time they pronounced that word. So what I want to do is actually to add a plug-in here. Let me list, let you listen just in case you're uh, just now joining us. This is sharp pocket and the word knife. And on the word pocket, there is a plosive or a peepop. Listen. Sharp pocket. Now, it's, that's not the worst in the world, and it's probably cut on a really good microphone, and a lot of those really good microphones have a lot of low-end uh, frequencies and a lot of uh, really nice low-end, which when you hit it with a burst of air, it will amplify it nice and round like this. So sounds like a good mic and good, probably a really good engineer. But what I want to show you is how to eliminate that, or at least the sound of it. Now, this won't eliminate the look of it, but it'll eliminate the sound of it, which is the most important thing. So, what I'm going to do to eliminate that is to go to a plugin that everyone has in their Pro Tools rig called EQ3 7 Band. Okay, looks like this. What we're going to do is turn on the high pass filter. I'm going to make it pretty steep like that and I'm going to run it up to around probably 50 or 60 Hertz and this will not affect the low end of her vocal but it will eliminate or um, roll out all of the low end I, I want to let you hear it first I'm going to bypass it and let you hear sharp pocket enough and listen to pocket sharp pocket sharp pocket now I'm going to turn this on and listen to how the the burst on the P disappears. Sharp pocket. Sharp pocket. That's the most natural way to eliminate a P pop is EQ and you want to EQ before you compress because if you EQ after you're compressed, then your compressor has probably already compressed this and then there won't be any need to EQ it. So in order to keep your compressor from working so hard, you want to EQ it first. More lessons on that to come. But that is the third and most useful method to eliminate a plosive or a pop. If you'd like dozens of mixing resources, categorized tutorials, and even more in-depth how-to videos, be sure you go to mixcoach.com and check them out. Thanks for watching.